Hello, crafty people. Back again. Um, I just want to share a few items that I had made uh, before um, I really got sick um, about two weeks ago. Um, I had purchased this um, <clears throat> peon uh, paper and um, I actually purchased a 6x6. Six six. I didn't know if I was really going to like it. It is actually very pretty. Um, but this is uh, a project that I decided to work on. I love these little labels. I think there's two sheets in here that um, kind of have these small labels on them. And uh, what I decided to do was to make these little um, button pouches. Um, in a previous video that I have, I had gone to a church bazaar back uh, actually it was on Valentine's Day and I had found tons and tons and tons of vintage buttons so um, I decided that you know I do have to share some of these buttons I just can't hoard them plus this is just too much so uh, what I did was um, I had these um, small uh, canvas actually burlap these burlap um, bags I had a few, I want to say I want, I had like four in my stash, but my secret sister had actually gifted me uh, two. So I started out with the two that she had gifted me and I started working on them. And this is what I initial, initially was um, playing with. And I cut out some, a small image I glued it, um, the backing is some um, tea dyed fabric that I had and some um, pieces of uh, just scrap lace that I had, you know, just lying around. And these buttons here in the bottom are some of the uh, vintage buttons that I have um, acquired. And I decided to call these um, like little button pouches where... Um, I could share uh, some of my uh, button findings with um, a few scrappy sisters. So this is this is the first one. This was actually the first one that I made, and I did add, of course, uh, some. Uh, this is like a glitter glue that I had. I think it's a Recollections glitter glue, but I have a lot of glitter glue. And this is the first one, and then I proceeded to make this one. And in this one, the buttons, I just, uh, in the buttonholes, I just tied some baker's twine. But it was, it's similar to the other, same image. I just cut the ribbon a little bit different. So these two were from my scrappy sister, my scrappy uh, secret sister, who I still don't know who it is. I then proceeded to use different images from the also the peon uh, paper line and that paper that particular paper is called Alma's sewing room and it's kind of like bluish grayish uh, kind of a plum color but I really like this image of this little girl and I just um, glittered her up a little bit same it just glued her this is some velvet ribbon and again the tea dyed uh, stained fabric in the back and in this one I just sewed some fabric uh, I just cut up some fabric strips and just um, ruffled them up and I added more of my uh, my buttons the next one is this one I decided to try a different placement again with the uh, baker's twine around the uh, vintage buttons and these are really vintage buttons some of the bit the buttons are so um, old that they have uh, literally disintegrated into my hands so this person who I inherited these buttons from must have had them for a long time here is another one See this one? I really like this one also, and I used different color buttons. 
in these little pouches I thought were really cute. And this is what my um, final presentation would be with the buttons in it. See, this is um, actually full of buttons. And in this one, I chose this image. There is lace in the back here. And I just put some of that, um, that tr pearl, it's like a pearl trim around the, the corners, which were actually scraps that I had lying around. And these are the um, antique buttons here. And this time I ruffled up and sewed. You could see this was hand sewed. But I kind of like the way it looks that way. And this is that velvet, um, it's a uh, light blue velvet uh, ribbon. And the image is really cute. And I added this um, little tag here. It says flea, my flea market item. I just tied it on with some uh, baker's twine. And this would actually be the, the, the final um, presentation. Um, if you're wondering where I got this uh, stamp uh, from, I had actually purchased this stamp set. I don't know if they still sell it. Um, it's by TJ Designs. And uh, I had this in my stash, stash for quite a while. It's called uh, Vintage Ephemera Photographs Rubber Stamp Collection. And these are what the stamps um, actually look like. I just like uh, really liked the uh, the uh, the words, um, especially the the one here that says um, "rescued relatives" because I like um, I like to buy um, old photos. So I was thinking that one day I would just like to make a photo album with some of the photos that I have found. And as you can see, there's also one. Um, stamp which says found objects that's really cute there's something for ATCs for swaps for ephemera um so it's it's a, it's a real cute stamp set and like I said I don't know if they still uh, sell this I don't even remember where I had actually purchased this stamp set from my next item uh, that I would like to share which I don't think I ever did a video on I don't really remember was these um, these dollar uh, fifty tags that Michael Michaels had back in Christmas? Well, my Michaels never carries um, any of the the latest things, but I did manage to find one package back around Christmas time. And once I got it home, I I really thought to myself, Oh my God, I could I could make these tags. So basically, what I did was I traced my own on um, some craft paper and mine are a little bit more uh, stable than the, uh, the Michaels kind. So uh, I backed it twice with craft paper and these are, here are some punches. Uh, I think these are like flower punches that I've I have in my stash and what I proceeded to do was I glittered them and I put a brad in the middle and back here I just used some of that red line tape and just glittered it up it was quite easy this is another kind of flower uh, punch that I punched out on I don't know just some scrap paper and just glittered them up and I came up with these this one the love sentiment here is from the Teresa Collins punch. And this is what they would look like, like the final presentation once you've completed them. I, um, <clears throat> I've used these uh, for Valentine's Day and I thought they were really cute. This is actually like a maroon uh, colored glitter that I have. I think it's a Martha Stewart glitter. And I just put some seam binding. And I love the XOXO stamp from Michaels. Here is another one. This one is a light pink. So basically you could just, you know, sit down and make a few of these. You could make them with um, the tilde paper or any um, scrappy, uh, shabby chic paper that you have. I think they would look really cute with, like with a floral paper. And... Um, 
you know, if you don't have them, it's a simple shape that you could um, hand make. So these are some of the things that I've been working on. So I hope that you like my little video. Thanks for watching. Bye.